Meghan Markle and Prince Harry spend first quiet and cozy Thanksgiving in the U.S. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will celebrate their first Thanksgiving together in the U.S. with a quiet and cozy dinner. The Duke and the Duchess of Sussex will spend the festivity at their $14 million, pound $11.2 million, Santa Barbara mansion and preparing dinner with their homegrown vegetables, a source told the Daily Mail. The couple and their son, Archie Harrison, will have dinner with Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, People has revealed. Last year, the family spent the holiday in Canada wishing their Instagram followers a happy Thanksgiving in a post. The image read, wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving from our family to yours. According to Newsweek, this year the couple are looking forward to celebrating their first American Thanksgiving in the States. A source close to the family told Bazaar.com, they are going to have a quiet dinner at home and are looking forward to celebrating their first American Thanksgiving in the States as a family. They added, they plan to enjoy a home-cooked meal with traditional Thanksgiving dishes, including recipes made with fresh vegetables from their garden. A source told People how Archie is growing and learning from his parents. They said, they are very happy, Archie is thriving and growing quickly. As a family, they spend hours outside. Earlier this week, Megan revealed that she suffered a miscarriage last July. She wrote a heartfelt essay for the New York Times where explained her experience and grief. Megan stated, It was a July morning that began as ordinarily as any other day, make breakfast. Feed the dogs. Take vitamins. Find that missing sock. Pick up the rogue crayon that rolled under the table. Throw my hair in a ponytail before getting my son from his crib. The Duchess then described feeling a sharp cramp that caused her to collapse while still holding Archie. She wrote, I dropped to the floor with him in my arms, humming a lullaby to keep us both calm, the cheerful tune a stark contrast to my sense that something was not right. I knew, as I clutched my firstborn child, that I was losing my second. Hours later, I lay in a hospital bed, holding my husband's hand. I felt the clamminess of his palm and kissed his knuckles, wet from both our tears. Staring at the cold white walls, my eyes glazed over. I tried to imagine how we'd heal. The Duchess described how she saw Harry's heart break as he tried to hold the shattered pieces of hers. She used her platform to highlight the importance of checking on others in moments of hardship. The Duchess described the unbearable pain of losing a child and how it is often a taboo topic. She said, losing a child means carrying an almost unbearable grief, experienced by many but talked about by few. In the pain of our loss, my husband and I discovered that in a room of 100 women, 10 to 20 of them will have suffered from miscarriage, 